Follow along in today's lesson and learn how to add an image inside of text using Adobe InDesign. For this, we'll add an image inside of the text frame and dim the background so it's overlaid onto the image. For this lesson, I'll be using an image from Unsplash to add into my text frame. I'll link the image in the description below so you can follow along and practice for yourself. I already have the type placed in the layout. The next thing I wanna do is add the photo. So I'm just gonna drag it onto the page while holding my shift key, drag and cover the entire page. Now I'm gonna to wanna to send this to the back and the easiest way of doing that is click on it, hold your shift command and left square bracket. You can also go to object, arrange and then send to back. I'm going to click on the text frame and create this text into outlines. To do that, go up to type and create outlines. The shortcut for that is shift command O. Now keep in mind, this is not editable text any longer. So if you want to make a copy before you create it into outlines, that might be a good idea for you. Now check this out. Here comes the fun part. I'm going to click on the background image, right click and just copy. Let's click on the text frame right click and paste into. You wanna make sure that you paste into and not paste in place or just paste. That's gonna paste that image exactly from where we grabbed it on the original copy. Next, I'm gonna click the background image, double click to drive into the selection and then go to the opacity slider and change that to 65% or somewhere around there is just fine. Click on the word Venice and then open your effects panel if you don't have effects, go to Window and Effects. With the word Venice selected, go to the Effects panel and in the Effects drop-down, select Bevel and Emboss. Choose the type of structure you'd like. I'm going to go with Emboss. You can have a smooth technique, chisel hard or soft. I'll leave it on smooth. I'm going to change the opacity of the highlight to 10%. I'm going to change the shadow to 65%. And I'm going to change the shading to 130%. Once you've done that, add a secondary effect of drop shadow. I'm going to click on that one. And the offset, I want it to be 0.03 for the X and 0.03 for the Y. The size of it will be 0.04. And you can see there's already some nice contrast and separation so you can read the word Venice just fine. Now of course you can add other effects to this, you can play around with the settings that might work best for you, but I'm going to leave this as is for now and just click OK. Now of course I can go back into the main image, double click and play around with the opacity here to add even more contrast so see what works best for you. You also have the option of clicking the background image, perhaps giving it a black background color with a tint of 50%. Double click to drive into that selection again and change the opacity of the background image to luminosity so you have a background that's black and white and then the, the word or the text itself might be um, in color. Another option is to use screen, so that might work better than luminosity. So you'll have a result that looks something like this. So that's a simple way of adding an image inside of text using Adobe InDesign. If you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the latest tutorial content published every other week. Until then, take care and keep creating.